at today? So yesterday, in yesterday's video, we got our very first roofing panel up. And this one was a really big challenge because we had to figure out how to get it up on the roof without damaging it. So we built a contraption. And in a nutshell, after a couple of days, we got the contraption to work and we successfully got our first panel up on the roof and squared, more importantly. We're fairly confident that that one panel, both figuring out how to get it up and squaring it, is the hardest part of probably the whole roof, but especially this, but specifically this side of the roof. So this morning, we decided that we really want to do all the panel prep on the ground. We have to hem the bottom of all the panels, but we were under the illusion that our panels were going to come with slots on the flanges to screw the panels into the roof, but they did not. So maybe that was just a misunderstanding on our part. So we're going to have Anna drill all those holes out and we're going to drill them just a little bit bigger than the screw. So the panel has room to move maybe a 16th to a 32nd in either direction. There's no panels prepped yet, so I think we're going to work together, try to get maybe four of them done or so, load them up, and then we'll probably get Anna set up with maybe four more and see if she can kind of work on that while Jesse and I are installing four on the roof. <laughs> Whoa. Told you. Violent. Every drill I own, the chuck does that. You shock the chuck at all and the drip and the freaking bit falls out. So we have five prep down here. Yesterday we loaded two at a time and we kind of loaded them back to back. Are you thinking that we'll load four at a time? Probably take all five and we'll just put cardboard between them or something. Yeah. Help limit scratching. So we decided we're going to blow off these panels or have Anna do that before the panels go up because there's a lot of metal shards left over that might rust. So why leave them on there? Just hoping the cardboard between our layers works. Today. I know, I was totally gonna say something about a milkshake. No, chocolate bar today. Chocolate, chocolate bar? Chocolate yeah. bar. Are we ready to go up then? Yeah, let's go put some flipping roofing on.
the stream. Worried. Yeah, I think we're pretty pretty spot on there. So we're kind of learning that when we chose to put the drip edge on that we did, it overhangs the roof. Excuse me, it overhangs the eave by approximately two and a half inches. And with the offset cleat, the roofing also has to overhang the drip edge. But the offset cleat only reaches about an inch and a half past the eave. The drip edge that this company sells is one of two kinds of drip edge. One, they have what's called an extended eave uh, drip edge, which you actually hem the panel to the drip edge. So there's no offset cleat. And then for this one, they actually sell a basically a flush drip edge, in which case you use the offset cleat and you're good to go. We're using the offset cleat with an extended drip edge. And I crossed my mind to try to hem to this drip edge, but if you feel under there, there's only about three eighths of an inch. And I'm worried that in a high wind area, a three eighths inch hem is not enough. So we're having to kind of find that happy spot between the roofing length, the drip edge overhang, and the offset cleat where it'll get a good bite into the roof underlayment. Well, we're finally getting a rhythm and a system Everything's going pretty smooth. We've got one more panel on the contraption. It looks like Anna's got quite a few panels ready. So we'll knock this guy out, take a potty break, and then kind of see how everybody's feeling. If it's time to press forward or call it a night. See if the DeWalt impact survived that, Anna? This will be a really good test to see if the DeWalt can handle what a Makita can handle. So we know the Makita can take it. Okay, coming to me. Does it still work, Anna? Yeah. Haha. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call initiation around here. Okay, coming up. And coming up. I gotta crimp this a little bit. There's like a really fine line between too much and too little. And if it's too much, it catches on the membrane and too little and it catches right now, on. all three of us are becoming experts at our own little test. Yeah, um, so back up on the ledge. Okay. Okay, great. Happy? Yep, happy. Let me crimp this just a little bit. Check it for square real quick. Okay. You're all the way top happy. Perfect. Nice work. You too, man. Progress is slow, but it's getting there, right? Yeah. Um, what I think we should do while you're up there is we should probably pull a long square. So I'll have Anna move me 
let's while you're there and I'm here, let's you... make a mark up there, uh -huh. and then I'll make a mark over, and then we'll have to pull that diagonal. Okay. Are you mentally stable enough to to tolerate atmospheric? <sighs> it is late in the day. That is risky business. Stop! Out! Right on the money? Perfect! Ow, ow, ow! Not, it's not even off by like the width of the dark wow, line. You're so awesome. How is that even humanly possible? Guys, it's still square. After eight panels. That's incredible. And it's not even off by like a wince. Are you guys getting nervous? Because we're getting nervous. Like this is atypical. Some, something's not right. And we're probably going to find out tomorrow. It's a big mess. And you're back on solid-ish ground. Is that our third round? That's three rounds. Or we're two rounds. We're at nine panels total. Are eight, we? eight panels total. Nine, nine. Nine panels total of 34 for this side. So we have 25 to go. So we only have to do this three more times. And that's yeah. half the roof. What are the biggest <laughs> troubles today? Like what were the most time consuming part? Um, getting, drilling, getting going, getting like it took us two took hours to get started. Anna's got some secrets we're going to share in a second that's speeding up her processes. Um, I think me getting on the roof and helping you that put the screws helps. in. Anything you can help, it's just It slow. just it cuts you in half. I don't think yep. you can speed that up, not unless nope. you have a collated screw gun. That's but it. If you're leaning over with your non-dominant hand, trying yep. to put a screw in the center, not too tight. Good luck. time. Yep. Otherwise, everything seems to be going fairly smooth. We did identify an issue with, I think, these two-ish panels where the hem, we're not getting it perfectly square to the panel. And so this rib is a little bit lower. And so it's causing the panels to like basically stair step down, not sawtooth, just kind of step down. So we addressed it down here and started bringing those panels back up about a 16th at a time. So. Here's hoping everything's sitting pretty. And down. Okay, and down. Oh yeah, putting the contraption to bed. Maybe, maybe, we Is don't know Is this thing gonna yet. earn a permanent corner on our property like the Grizzly? <laughs> right. Oh, in. Something tells me we're done for the night. Welcome back to Earth. I don't know, let's go see how Anna did. Anna's been down here prepping panels for us, which is working out pretty good. She's able to prep panels just as fast as we're able to install them, and actually faster now. So our neighbor, brought us this tool. I thought, you know what? He has a lot of tools, and I wonder if he would have a sheet metal punch. I didn't even know that existed, but I thought, there's a good chance that exists. And sure enough, in his repository. So Anna tells me that this is about 10 times faster than drilling. It doesn't make a mess, and it doesn't hurt her wrists. Using that regular old uh, drill bit, sharp, mind you, brand new, very sharp, nice. Typical, we drill sheet metal and it bites right as you punch through the metal and just makes a boogery mess. But this punch is literally just like a paper punch, like a hole punch. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh. That's just magical. It even has a little depth gauge on it that sets the depth of whatever material you're punching. So you're getting super consistent holes. We have thought of everything, haven't we? So the question of the hour is, do we do more or do we shut it down? We had talked about go until dark. That's gonna be about two hours. We could do four more panels. We only have Anna for three more days. Yeah. I'm game to push. We're a sixth the, of the, the way through the roof. The bad part is if we have to stop in two hour increments, yep. then we always have to stop two hours before dark or whatever. So, yep. 
you know, like everything's square. I don't see us having any problems. Anna's rocking and rolling. Yeah. You know, you should be able to prep this very fast. We're, we're ready to like go. Five of these six done. They're already ready to go? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so I suggest, given the time crunch, try to go. Let's try to do four more. It's going to put us late tonight for sure. Yep. The other option is to crack a dawn tomorrow and put in a really long day. Uh, I say do these, and I think tomorrow it'll still be a reasonable day to finish that side. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Power on. Anytime we don't have to wear our sun hats, it raises morale. It totally does. That's like the shame to stop working. Yeah, as soon as the sun goes down, don't stop working. Get more work done. In the best views this time of night. Yeah. Is this one ready, Anna? Yep. Sweet. Um, it's okay. A little tight, I think. Um, let me have her go in a little bit. Coming off onto the roof. Okay. I got it. Okay. Looks on to me. Jesse says we're square. So if you look at all these striations, there's up striations, down striations, and flat striations. We've been putting our roofing screws in the flat striations, sucking them pretty tight. <laughs>
Wow, two people go so much faster. Right. Ready for number two? We're making great time. It's officially the last pass on the roof. Yeah, better be. The only other one's that sliding down the roof. <laughs> what do you want me to get? Um, if you could just move this over, see that crow's foot? This uh -huh. is past that crow's foot. Yep. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going down to the roof. Okay. Beautiful. You got it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep it. Beautiful. 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 Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's fun to beat things into submission. Right. Wow, look at that glow. It's so beautiful. Okay, coming onto the roof. That was graceful. Okay, up. Yep, I got it. Stop. Good. Oh man, last one for tonight. Oh wait, haha. We gotta move the ladder. Come down and help. False alarm. Good. Okay, coming off the lift. Ready? Yep, up! Stop! Good! Okay, coming to me and up on the rib. Wow, did that go on first try? Wow, that was like too easy. You bet. We did it guys, we did it. We're not quite halfway done with this side of the roof, but it looks amazing. I'm so happy. Tonight we decided to do four more panels, but it's definitely getting hard to see now. I've just seen where we're at with the boom. It's 
So we're we might be able to do two. We might be able to do four more panels from this position. From this position, and then we're gonna have to go to the other ha side of the house. Sweet. Which is actually funny because that would be close to half the roof. So that actually works out pretty dang yep. good. How about them apples? Ready to come down? Yep. Okay, let's boom out. Good job today. You too. Beast mode, way to knock out four more pieces. All right. Finish the night with uh, house house builder, what's it called? What's that thing where you do uh, the, the under the rope thing? I have no idea, limbo? The limbo. Really? House builder limbo. Oh, wow. Good job. You didn't do limbo in college? Oh, I'm so oh, confused now. Oh no, that was like now. elementary school. What? Cool, good job, love. So we're gonna give this lady a chance to go do her favorite thing. Video oh yeah, video. I was thinking ice cream. But oh, shower. That's shower, and I'm gonna make dinner, and you're gonna knock out a video. How's that for productivity? Pretty good. Chow world. Watch Nothing out. But a boom. We almost got a quarter of a roof. Watch out. And then we'll sleep. And then sleep, and then rinse, rinse and repeat. And repeat.